Tonight's special report is about the television you're watching right now and about the way it's to be transformed. Tomorrow, the first of several companies offering dozens of new channels via your existing aerial will be launched. Also on the way, plans for hundreds of new channels on cable and satellite, all because of the imminent arrival here of digital television. Our media and arts correspondent Katie Derham has been to France to see how it works there. French TV viewers have had digital television for more than two years now, with France leading the way in Europe. When we get it in autumn, we're being told it's going to revolutionise the way we watch and use our televisions. So what has been the impact of digital TV here in France? The Reissac family live in a suburb of Paris. They used to have very poor reception and decided to subscribe to digital satellite TV because they heard it would improve the picture quality. It certainly did that. And one year on, they also find they enjoy having more channels to choose from. Many. <laughs> Too many. Uh, but we're watching, I think, at least uh, 10 or 20 channels. For myself, it's rather cinema and music and uh, concerts and uh, information sometimes. At Europe's leading digital broadcaster, I was given a demonstration of the kind of service we will soon see here. Over a hundred channels include everything from blockbusting movies to the driver's view of a Formula One race, as well as interactive home shopping, weather and banking channels. I think it will be really the way to transmit all the television tomorrow, and not only the television, but television, radio, interactivity, uh, with the same box and the same remote control. So it will be the technology of tomorrow, I'm sure of that. So how will we get digital television here? At the moment, we get television using analog waves in three ways. Terrestrial, from a transmitter to your home aerial, satellite, through a dish, and cable, underground. Digital television will use the same routes, but because the signal is different, you'll need a set-top box to decode the signal for your home television. Digital terrestrial TV will offer 30 new channels, and its bosses say that's quite enough. Cable and satellite versions of digital will offer up to 200, similar to the French system, and including the same sort of interactive facilities. Sky doesn't think that will be overwhelming, because the viewer will be boss. If you like documentaries, you'll have 10 documentary channels from Sky. You'll have 11 movie channels from Sky. You'll have more of every kind of television that you want to watch. All of the uh, research that we've done suggests that actually people do want more television, but they don't want hundreds of more channels. What they want is a few more channels of better quality. So they want more channels for the kids, more channels during the day, and of course films and sport. But actually there's not a demand to see hundreds and hundreds of imported channels. The UK's digital terrestrial service will be the first in the world that doesn't require a dish or a cable, though some people may need to upgrade their existing aerial. The big names are getting ready for digital. The BBC is already advertising a new digital channel. And soon we'll be seeing adverts like this for ITV2 and a whole slate of new channels from Granada and Carlton. But as the shops await the arrival of the decoding set-top boxes, expected to cost about £200, there are concerns that customers will be baffled. Well, the amazing thing is, is that we have this digital revolution that's going to transform broadcasting, and yet there's been no public education campaign to actually tell consumers what it all means. Uh, we're going to have three different digital platforms launch, launched this year, cable, satellite and terrestrial, and there's enormous scope for consumer confusion there. We face one of the most aggressive advertising campaigns ever seen to convince us that digital TV isn't just on its way, it's going to be far superior to anything we've got already. We don't yet know if the British will embrace it as the French have, but what we do know is that whether or not people go for digital television, there's going to be an awful lot of it out there. Katie Derham, News at 10, Paris.